This is a rare sight, which is good evening, at least the rest of the evening of uh, day 13 of the October YouTube Pagan Vlog Challenge. Oh, I may have gotten it right. Uh, it's four in the morning. Do you see this? This is what it's like when it's a full moon and these weird fluffy things that we rarely ever see in the desert decide to move through. Isn't that cool? Oh, she's there. I see her. Anyways. One second. And thus we begin our nightly negativity burn. And a few thoughts around the fireside about today's word. Which happens to be superstition. <sighs> you know, when I was growing up, you saw clouds in the sky. You expected rain. When you live in the desert, that isn't necessarily so. However, in the last couple of years, and you, you just never know anymore. I mean, with climate change has made things so unusual. Anyway, enough about that. Superstition. I was going to talk about all of the kind of witch-related superstitions about, you know, your broom falls over, company's coming. Ooh, look, she's peeking through. Okay. Broom falls over, company's come in. You put the broom bristle side up. You don't want people to come by, you know, things like that. Um... But then yesterday I was watching a series of videos about the, the other thing I make videos for, which is the, my path on the ketogenic diet. And one of my favorite YouTubers there was, uh, she had done a video where she uh, talked about the Teal Pumpkin Project, which if none of you are aware, it's basically, uh, if you have a teal colored pumpkin outside of your house, you have uh, Halloween treats that are, it, it's not sugar or any allergy things. It's probably things like little pencils or rubbers or little toys like that uh, for folks who have, for kids who have allergies or uh, in general can't have candy for whatever reason. And I think it's awesome. And if we do hand out on Halloween, I will probably do that. But anyway, she had talked about that. She has two little boys who are autistic. And she also talked about getting a psychic reading and how she has a good friend who's uh, a psychic who's worked with the police and the FBI and things like that. And I thought that was pretty cool. And then the next day she had to address it again because she had a lot of negative comments. And I'm like, I'm going to have to go look at this. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, you're wasting your money type of comments. No. Oh, my goodness. Okay, first off, uh, this, this YouTuber, she, she's not a witch at all. She's a wonderful, gorgeous human being. And I, I love her and her family to pieces. But she, she's not a witch. She's just very open-minded and tolerant. And the comments that she had, because she talked about how she got a psychic reading and how she gets psychic readings, were like, uh, oh no, no, she's not real. She's enticing the devil and the demons are going to invade your family. And I swear if I had seen one that said, oh, this is why your kids are the way they are, I probably would have come unglued. So I'm very glad I didn't see anything like that. But so many, this is the devil's work. You shouldn't do this. You're a good Christian. I am no longer going to watch your videos because you got a psychic reading. Things like this. And I'm like... I guess that's, <laughs> I can think of a lot of other words other than superstition, but it is. A lot of people think that psychics are, they have a superstition against, no, 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 that's, that, that's going to bring in the devil. That is evil. And I, I don't understand it. I mean, I don't understand it. I've, I've seen, I guess, too many weird... Oh, that fire went out quick tonight. Too many weird things in my life to dismiss the possibility that there are people who actually have this very good connection with the other side, and that can get messages. I mean, we get messages when we do divination, so why can't people who just, you know, concentrate and listen, why can't they get, you know, messages? And why do people have to be so... I just could not get over the comments that she had. Hold on here. I mean, let me gather my thoughts while I add some more to this. One second. Lesson for today. If you put down your phone on pause, at least my phone, on pause, and then lock the screen because you shoved it in your pocket, it stops the video completely. Ha ha ha. Anyway. So... Yeah, how this relates to superstition, it has to be from, obviously, their own raising and indoctrination, which I think has just as much of a place in the world of superstition, so to speak, as anything else, that makes these people believe 
anything outside of their own realm is the devil. Boy, am I glad we don't have that. <laughs> I mean, jeepers, this paper does not want to burn tonight. It's... I don't know. Is it easier to just believe that... Step on your crack, break your mother's back. If a black cat crosses your path, you know, you're going to have good luck. Break a mirror. And who decided it was seven years bad luck if you broke a mirror? That's what I'd like to know. You know, why not ten years or thirteen years? And there are thirteen. There's another one. Are you going to light? There we go. Thank you. You know, who? The thirteen. I've never had a problem with thirteen. Uh, ever. And the fact that this was even before anything else, uh, you know. So maybe that's where the extra bit of paranoia comes from, is that typically, why am I pointing my phone in the dark at this thing? Because that's not going to help me. There we go. You know, maybe that's part of the reason why people have the fear of witches, is because, you know, typically we would gather in numbers of 13. <sighs> That the Friday the 13th was, you know, the witching moon that some people consider, well, it doesn't work out the same way, but I was going to say the 13th hour, but that's in the daytime. <sighs> I'm going back to the same thing, that those comments on her, her video really, really shocked me. I mean, as I've mentioned in a previous video, the type of com camaraderie that there is in the keto community is only paralleled by what we get in the witch community and that you know somebody's always there when you need somebody you can find somebody you know and the support's always there and yeah you got the the negative nellies that are everywhere well i guess we found them for her and I guess somebody has that nerve to actually kind of insinuate that you know i come to this channel just to watch you know your keto food blogs, and I don't want to hear about, you know, weird dealings you're having with the devil and selling your soul and this and that and the other thing. And I said, hey, I come to this channel to watch keto things too, and she talks about her kids. I don't have kids, so I don't get all irked, like, no, don't show me your children on the video. Come on, people. It's a psychic reading. It hit home for her. It gave her answers and some form of peace and... <sighs> Why? I guess that's just the way superstitions are. People can't get past them for whatever reason. You know, I, I get my mind off this or else I'm going to get back on that page today and say things that I really shouldn't. <laughs> but, um, let's see. Do I have any unconscious superstitions that I... I have a thing with numbers. Not in a, a OCD manner, but in a magical manner. Like, uh doing something 13 times or 9 times or um, let's see I do have my broom bristles up at my front door because you know no <laughs> um, black cats never been a thing I've always had black cats uh, walking under a ladder again doesn't bother me opening an umbrella inside I the only reason I, I'm like no don't do that is because I know we're going to knock something over more so than anything else uh, somebody had mentioned stepping over a, an umbrella that had fallen down I have never heard of that one that was new to me salt over the shoulder is only if I feel it you know like if I spill it and then have that moment if I gotta do this then I'll do it but most of the time mm -hmm. um, step on a crack yeah those are you know superstitions and old wives tales I think they're all sort of related and I think that the spirits are telling me that's enough of a fire for tonight. Look, she's still there, still moving. I never ceases to amaze me how bright the sky can be at night during a full moon when these clouds roll through. Can you hear the sirens? <laughs> So I guess I'll call that in for day 13, ironically, day 13 being superstition. And I will see you for day 14. Blessed be, witches.